Who is you? You're... Yo, I'm only Zay if you don't know. If you do know, what don't know? Look, man, I, got, I caught wind of this, this free personality test. You know what I mean? I'm talking to somebody. I'm like, what you doing? They're like, yo, I'm doing a free personality test. I'm like, a word? I'm like, yo, send that to me. So they sent it to me, whatever, and I'm taking it. And I took it once. I ain't gonna lie to you. I already took it once, but I feel like they did me wrong. I feel like I was like, yo, like, nah, like, this ain't me. Like, the type of personality that they gave me. I feel like it was some kind of some kind of mix some uh mixturization. You feel me? It was some kind of, it was some uh mixturism. Because I don't think I'm this person that they said to be. Like if I looked in the mirror, that person wouldn't look like me. And that rhyme. Bars. We nah, so I'm about to go ahead and uh retake this. Get my trusty dusty uh phone to me. Hey dandy. And uh I'm about to retake this quiz and see what kind of person I am. Listen. I feel like I took this off my neck. This my this my mask slash scarf. I know what y'all saying. No, it's not a scarf at all. It's just a mask, my nigga. Like I'ma show you. I'm just show you, just so you can be like, all right, here's your boom. You feel me? I know it's thin. Blah blah. It was city. It was city issued out for my job. Don't worry about all that other stuff. Feel me? So three, two, one, five. All right. So uh, let's get to this test. Oh wait. Wait a minute. Actually, hold on. Let me put this mother up on do not disturb first. So I don't have no kind of disturbances. And I'm trying to be finding out who I be. You feel me? All right, let's get it. Bow. All right, we in there. So now, fast and easy. Take less than 12 minutes. Be yourself. Answer honestly. Even if you don't like the answer, I got you. You enjoy fight. You enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people. Mm, I mean, I ain't really like that like that, but you know, it's, it's whatever. Actually, click the wrong thing. You often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. I mean, like if it's a joke, yeah, but like if I like, like for real deal, like thinking like of some like, oh, never mind. The, the do not disturb your name work. I'm gonna have to just, I'm gonna just bleep it out if I can. You feel me? Um, you often spend time exploring unrealistic, get intriguing ideas. Nah. Nah. Your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list of ideas than detailed itinerary. Facts. I agree with that. Yes, yeah, facts. You, cause I mean, like, if you just there, you there, my nigga. Like, I'm not one of the people going like, we're gonna do this at this time, this and that. Like, man, it might be something else I want to see. I might want to do during the time we plan for this, and it might be better. You feel me? So, nah, I ain't, you know what I mean? You often think about what you should have said in conversation long after it has taken place. Facts. I'm one of them. Man, I could have said, I should have done like this type people. I'm definitely one of them people, for sure. If your friend is sad about something, your first instinct is to support them emotionally, not try to solve their emotion, uh, try to solve their problem. Um, no, I'm going to try to solve their problem. But I'm going to be there emotionally, like, y'all understand. But... You feel me? So let's 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 stick with that. People can rarely upset you. High key. Skin is thicker than a stripper from King of Diamonds or or wherever that wherever it is. Skin skin. Is, I got thick skin. Pause. I don't even know that. Anyway, you often rely on other people to be the ones to start a conversation and keep it going. False. I'm the I'm mainly that person, but I mean sometimes I'm not like gonna start every conversation. You feel me? So you know what I mean. If you have to temporarily put your plans on hold, you make sure it is your top priority to get back on track as soon as possible. Yep, facts. You rarely worry if you made a good impression on someone you met. Facts, because I'm me. I don't care what you think. Like and I, I'm like. Yeah, but it's all depends. Like what is that an NBA scout? Am I in the gym hooping and then somebody from the Mavs can't watch? So I'm not going to agree all the way, you feel me? Excuse me. It would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself without feeling bored. But see, this is different. If I got my game, I'm going to disagree. So I'm going to disagree with that because I can, if I got my game, I'm good. I don't about it. You are, what, to chill for a week anyways. You are more of a detail-oriented than a big picture person. But what do they mean by that? Because like I, I be like, all right, this is the big picture, but I be into the details too. Or if I'm arguing with somebody, I'm into the details. Makes I'm in the middle. I'm gonna put that in the middle. 
You are very affectionate with the people you care about. Affectionate, like hugging and like all up on them. I'm not like that. No, 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 no. I mean, I, I love my mama. I love my family. I give them hugs and stuff, but like only if it's like warranted. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, I got you a present or happy birthday or Merry Christmas or, you know, happy Mother's Day or it's church. But other than that, no, nah, I'm not just, no. Nah. You feel me? You have a careful and met methodical approach to life. Careful, yeah. Methodical. <clears throat> approach to life? Do I be taking my time trying to think like, yo, life could be like this, could be like that? Eh, yeah, I agree. I agree. You are still bothered by the mistakes you made a long time ago. Nah, everything happens for a reason. I, I think about them. Bothered by them? Nah. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. At parties and similar events, you can mostly be found farther away from the action. I agree with that, yeah, a little bit. Hey, my people want me to hoop with them on 2K. I'm trying to make this as fast as I can. Just bear with me for a second. You, feel me? Uh, you often find it difficult. As a matter of fact, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to join that party and tell them that I'm doing a YouTube video. Back to my video, man. Back back to my personality, which I always have. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is good to know Zay. Maybe this is, this, is why, this is why I call this video. Get to know Zay. You see me on the game, talk to my homies. You see me on, the, you about to take my personality test with me or, you know what I mean, blah, blah. And I might link this whole in the description so you can find out what they think that you might be and if you can agree or disagree. It's all good. Anyways, <clears throat> you often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. Big facts. I might have to go all the way with that. Like, nah, I, I, cause I can see where people come from sometimes, but for the most part, I be thinking like, okay, what next? So I don't really dwell on that. Like emotional people like to dwell on things. I don't, I don't dwell on. Be like, all right, what's next? Like I can't do nothing about it. So what's next? You feel me? When looking for a movie to watch, you can spend ages browsing through catalog. Facts, big facts. I like to pick out exactly what I'm trying to see and exactly what I want to feel when I'm watching something. I want to laugh. I want to pick something funny that I know is gonna be funny. So I don't want to back out and pick something else. I'm all right. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah. You can stay calm under a lot of pressure. Dang time. Zay time. You feel me? When in a group of people you do not know, you have no problem jumping right into their conversation. Depends on what it's talking about. Sports, rap, something I like, easy money. I'm in there. LeBron! Yeah, LeBron this. I'm in there. Whatever. When you sleep, your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastical. I mean, who isn't, bro? Who has regular dreams, bro? In your opinion, is it sometimes okay to step on others to get ahead in life? I'm going to disagree with that. But not totally disagree because if they stepped on me first, nigga, thun, 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 big baby, James Brown style, you feel me? No, I'm gonna totally agree. I wouldn't do that. I let, I let vengeance is guys, not mine. You are dedicated and focused on your goals, only rarely getting sidetracked. <coughs> no, I disagree with that. I be getting sidetracked no more. If you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself. Never. I mean, I can disagree with that completely. When you at a social event, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Big facts. Unless they on something, my mom. Unless everybody over here being crazy. Now I'm over here, somebody else, they talking about basketball, they have a, a basketball crew of hoopers or whatever. And I'm like, oh, let me go uh, talk to them because these niggas partying, they throwing elbows and mosh pit in the night with all that. Yeah, you feel me? You usually, you, you usually lose interest in a discussion when it gets philosophical. False. Never do that. I'm always into that. You would never let yourself cry in front of others. Big facts, nigga. No tears on my way, nigga. Can't see them coming down my eye, so I gotta let the song cry. You feel more drawn to places with a bustling and busy atmosphere than to more quiet and intimate ones. I'm in the middle of that because I can chill in the lounge and be cool, calm, collect anything. I mean, people there. Or I also could be at a basketball game. A lot of these things I say have to do with basketball if you ain't noticed that, my nigga. Get to, get to know me, yo. Ladies and gentlemen, get to know Zay. You feel me? He care about basketball a lot, as you can tell. We like discussing different views and theories on what the world could look like in the future. No, nigga, because I believe in the rapture, and I don't think this world got but about six years left, to be honest with you. Take me to the king, nigga. When it comes to making life-changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. Hmm. Nah, I listen to my heart. But I do listen to my head more than my heart. So I'll disagree slightly. 
Because I'd be like, I know I feel like this, but I'm trying to stay alive. Or trying not to be homeless or whatever the hell going on. You feel me? Whatever the heck going on. You know what I mean? You can imagine you cannot imagine yourself dedicating your life to the study of something that you cannot see, touch, or experience. Facts. If it ain't real, why would I bother? I will never spend my life studying in Greek mythology, my nigga. You usually prefer to get your revenge rather than forgive. Disagree with that. I forgive because like I said, vengeance is God, not mine, you heard? So I'm going to go ahead and disagree with that. No, I disagree a little bit because, I mean, you do feel good when you see him get that little revenge back that God did. But, like, you be like, at the same time, I ain't do nothing to him, God. I ain't, I ain't trying to get him back. You often make decisions on a whim. <clears throat> Big disagree. I be taking my time like a mug. The time you spend by yourself often ends up being more interesting and satisfying than the time you spend with other people. I disagree. Slightly, because if we talking about are we talking about the game or real life or both? Because like when I'm by myself, I make myself laugh and stuff like that. I, I make myself cry laughing sometimes. But like I like being in the party with my homies and talking stuff, or being at the at my other homie house talking stuff, chopping it up, laughing, or being somewhere like at a party or something laughing or talking on the phone with girls. Like, yeah, it's all good. You often put special effort into interpreting the real meaning of a message of a song or a movie. Song, yes. Movie, I'm not really that movie guy, so I'm gonna stick with song and I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with that. But sometimes I like listen to the song how it is, but for the most part, yeah. No, I lie. I'm gonna go all the way because I be doing, I be on rap genius like that nigga said what? Oh, when he said Tim's, he was talking about the shoes and the producer. Oh my god, like I mean that's how I think. So, anyways, you always know exactly what you want. Nah, I disagree with that. I'd be indecisive in the world. So, like, if it's a strawberry shortcake or if it's a red velvet, I'm going to be like, ah, red velvet, but that's shortcake, though. But red velvet, definitely. But I'm going to look at the shortcake still. You rarely think back on the choices you made and wonder what you could have done differently. I agree with that more than I disagree. You feel me? Because everything happened for a reason. You in a public place, you usually stick to... When in a public place... You usually stick to quieter and less crowded areas. Facts. I don't want to be around where a lot of stuff happened because, hey, man, something go down. Everybody getting got. I'd rather be the nigga watching from a distance. <laughs> I knew somebody, we used to say that all the time, from a distance. <laughs> you feel me? You tend to focus on present realities rather than the future possibilities. False. I be thinking about the future all the time. Like, yo, when that new Xbox come out, I can't wait. I don't be thinking about the one I got. I'm waiting for that new one to come out. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Understanding? No. Feeling them like, I feel why you feel that way? That's understanding, nigga. Nah, I don't have no problem doing that. But not all the way, though. I'm going to go middle. Because sometimes, you know, we cry baby people. Like, we cry baby niggas. And they be crying up stuff. Don't matter. I'll be like, why are you worried? Why are you crying about that? But I feel... I can see why they crying. That's understanding, but I don't agree with it. You feel me? So I guess I do understand. I'm going to go ahead and agree with that. I'm going to go ahead and agree with that. When you starting to work on a project, you prefer to make as many decisions up front as possible. Nah, I'm the nigga in the back. I'm the J.R. Smith for the crew. I'm just waiting on us to get a ring, dog. <laughs> I have some input if somebody starts saying some stupid stuff. But other than that, I'm just here to get a ring, dog. Excuse me. When you know someone thinks highly of you, you also wonder how long it will how long it will be until they become disappointed in you? Never, my nigga. I don't know. I don't think I'm about to disappoint anybody. If you if you have faith in me, that's cool. I'm, I'm glad you do. I'm going to do the best that I can. I ain't waiting on you to be disappointed. I'm waiting on me to succeed on what you thought I was fitting to succeed with. You feel me? You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation? Nah, I'm not just walking up to people I don't know. I don't care who it is. Unless they on what unless they talking about what I'm talking about, then maybe. So I'm not gonna all the way disagree with that, but nah. You often drift away into daydreaming about various ideas or scenarios. Facts. Facts. You look after yourself and others. Bro. I was not even, you know what? I'm not going to show y'all. I was going to show y'all this, but I, man, I'm just going to read it out loud because I was not screen recording. You look after yourself first and others come in second. Now, I be looking at other people for me. High key. High key. Facts. It's probably, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. 
even when you have planned a particular daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you feel like at any given moment. I'm in the middle on that. Your mood can change very quickly. Nah, I, I be trying to, I be in my zone, I be in my, I be in my mode. But I'm not going to always disagree because I'm still human, so I'm not perfect, you feel me? You often contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of their life. No, I believe in God and I know what we're here for and all this other stuff, you feel me? You often talk about your own feelings and emotions. No, not really. You have got detailed education or career development plans stretching several years into the future. No, nah, nigga, I be taking it how I go. I be taking it however it go. You rarely dwell on your regrets. Oh, I say regrets. Wow. Come on, Elmer Fudd, nigga. <laughs> you rarely dwell on your regrets. Uh, yeah, I don't be regretting a lot. I don't be regretting a lot. You feel me? Spending time in a dynamic atmosphere with lots of people around quickly makes you feel drained and in a need of getaway. Of a getaway. Nah. But I agree a little bit more than I... Than I I'm not in the middle, though, so I'd rather be by myself and get away from people than, or whatever the hell. You, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways. You see yourself as more of a realist than a visionary. Uh, well, I don't even know the difference between that because if you realist, you can be like, okay, this is just it. This is what's happening now. But if you have a vision, if you're a visionary, you can be like, this is what's happening now. But in the future, it could be like this. So I'm not going to be like pessimistic. So I'm in the middle on that. You find it easy to empathize with a person who has gone through something you ha you never have. Nah. I disagree with that a little bit. Not all the way though, because I be trying to feel it. I be trying to feel them like, oh, that ain't how you feel, but I can't feel how you feel. You feel me? Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than to organized and consistent efforts. I agree with that more than I disagree. Cause I try, I try to set up a schedule, but it'll never go that way. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Negative, sir. Negative, sir. But I'm not perfect, so I ain't gonna go all the way. After a long and exhausting week of after a long and exhausting week, a fun party is just what you need. Nah, I don't care about a party. I can be at the crib. Unless it's a food party, a pizza party, or some some kind of party at work, or somebody's birthday party, or a cookout. Oh, I'm there. That's cool. But I'm not setting the one up just because I had a long week. I don't even know what a long week is. Every day of my life I have fun. Every day of my life I laugh. Even through the tragedies and stuff that go on, I still laugh. I still have, I still live my life. You frequently find yourself wondering how technological advancement could change everyday life. Uh, I do think about that. You know, iPhone 15s in the future and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But once again, the rapture going to come for all that if you ask me. <laughs> you always consider how your actions might affect other people before doing something. Yeah, but not always oh, because sometimes I just say stuff. But when it comes to my actions, I, yeah, my actions for sure, for sure. But if I'm speaking this part, I'm just going to agree with the auto way. You still honor the commitments you have made even if you have a change of heart. Facts, because I stick to my word. If I say something, I mean it. You rarely feel insecure. All the way, facts. I'm a male. See my results. I am a logician, INTPA. That's my personality type. I'm 40% extroverted, 60% introverted. 52% intuitive. Intuitive, why am I, I'm just trying to, I'm running through this. That's why I've been jumbling my words and sentences and reading because I've just been speeding through this so I can get on the game hockey. I ain't gonna hold you. 52% <laughs> intuitive, 48% observing. 57% uh, thinking, 43% feeling. 47% judging, 53% prospecting. 82% prospecting. assertive, 18% uh, turbulent. Hey, that's it, y'all. I'm going to make another video after this saying what that what all this means. I'm sending this to my um I'm sending this to my email so I can keep these results, man. I might screenshot them or something so I can show y'all in the next video since I didn't screenshot this one. You know what I mean? But yo, that's it. That's the that's the personality test. I'm going to put the link in the bio so you can have your own personality test and see who you are according to these little things and see if you agree with it or not. It could be wrong, could be right, but at the end of the day, you chose the answer that you chose for the test to see who you came out to be in their eyes. You feel me? So, hey, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope y'all can learn something. Hope y'all can do something. Be easy. Be blessed. God love you. 
and I'm out.